In this video, we're going to be discussing how to use the web app in tandem with the um, AMZ Chrome extension tool, because a lot of people think that you can get away with using one. Some people think that you need both. And I just want to make this video to really tell you how to use both of them together and how to really get the most out of both of them because that's exactly what I do and I've got it up on my computer here so I'm going to be going through all the different things together for you in this video but before we get started I just want to say I'm Shimmy Morris and I have my own YouTube channel but I'm here creating this video for AMZ Scout and if you haven't already subscribed to the AMZ Scout channel then click that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification and leave a comment down below, like right now, if you have the Chrome extension tool or you have the web app, I'm really curious. And by the end of this video, maybe update your comment and let us know like if there's these new things that you didn't know that you could do or how you could use them together. And what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go through like a step-by-step -step on how I would go about using the web app and the Chrome extension together. So let's get started with it straight away. So to start with, we're going to be opening the, the extension. So let's go to Amazon and just open the extension over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click, oh, let me get rid of this first. Or, oh, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? The first thing we're going to do is click suggest niche, okay? And let's see what this brings up. So this will bring up a whole bunch of different niches. So OptiZoom, okay? Just random suggested niche. Now we can keep doing it again until we find a niche that we are interested in. Collapsible water bottles. That's actually so cool. I didn't even know this existed. Okay, this is epic. So this is the product that we are going to do, okay? And you can see that the results, the average monthly sales, the average sales rank, the potential score of eight, the average reviews, the average net margin, everything. You've got all the information here. and. What we're going to do is you can click on this potential score and it will bring up all of this, so the demand, the entering, the competition. It's all really, really good stuff. So what we want to do is we want to copy and paste this keyword. So let's exit out of this. And we want to copy and paste this keyword into the Keyword Explorer. So this is the product database. And within the product database, you have a few things. You've got the product tracker, the product database, and the Keyword Explorer. So let's open up the Keyword Explorer and put this keyword in and click search. Now, what you can see here is you can see a whole bunch of different keywords. You've got all the keywords here on the left. You've got the estimated search volume and you've got the categories that they are part of. So 476,500 monthly searches is pretty epic in my mind. And what else you can do with this information is you can see other ones, collapsible water bottle, two liter collapsible water bottle, um, one liter vapor collapsible water bottle. You just can get ideas for different keywords, which I think is so, so useful. Okay, so let's go on to how we would then use this. So firstly, we can download this to a, um, an Excel sheet. That just makes your life a lot easier to keep track of everything. Um, but let's let's see how we can now use this. Just to add, if you are already selling on Amazon, what you can do is you can use the Keyword Explorer to see how your product is doing, how many searches your product is getting, how it's getting more and more searches over time, and if there are any new keywords that are now doing well. So this is great if you're looking for a product or if you already have a product. Now, the next thing we can do is we can go back to the Chrome extension and we can click Niche Keywords, and this will bring up a whole different bunch of keywords in this niche. You've got bottle, water, collapsible, and you can see the big ones are gonna be the best ones, right? You've got all these different keywords, and another way to get keywords is to actually click one of the ones that you like and do get keywords, and then, oh, so this one, does, uh, it's a sponsored ad, so you've gotta do it on the ones that aren't sponsored. So click get keywords, and this should bring up all the different keywords. So it's just loading over here, you can see, and it'll bring up all the different keywords. And here you can see it's brought up some keywords. It hasn't brought up very many keywords because that's these products aren't using that many keywords. So that's actually a good sign for you because you can get in on this niche with many, many more keywords and just dominate the niche. But how can you use all these different keywords? Well, firstly, export everything to a CSV. Keep a good list of keywords. And what you can do with it is you can create PPC ads with Facebook, with Amazon, with Google based on these keywords. And that is exactly how you're going to rank your product and dominate the market. So you're gonna get a whole list of keyword ideas. You're gonna then create an ad using those keywords. And that is how you'll get the top of Amazon. Now let's move on to the product database for this product. And 
I'll show you how it can get even better. So let's search for this and we want to click add filters. Now we can, let's just untick all of this stuff first because we search for a product. But the next thing you can do is you can have properties. So one very cool one that I like is to see first available. So if you put first available in, let's say within the last six months, okay, what you can do is you can see how quickly a product has ranked and how many sales a product is getting within six months, which is really, really beneficial because you can really see exactly what you need to with a product. For now, I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm going to click apply. So. Doing that will bring up all the different products and you can see here you've got the price, you've got the net, the fees, the category and all the different products. And actually, I'm really starting to like this product. It's so cool. And you can see that there are a few buttons here. But firstly, one thing you can also do is you can click view trends and this will show you the trends on Google. So it's gonna show you how well they're selling over what period of time. And it just gives you a better idea of the product because remember you want as much of an idea of, about the product you're going into. So what this will do is this will add it to your like watch list sort of thing. This allows you to pretty much track the product. So it's not really like a watch list, it's more of like a, a track product, which we're going to go and I'm going to show you very soon. But we can add a few of the ones that we like the look of. So let's add this one as well. And let's add one more. So let's add, um, let's add something different. Let's add... This one looks cool. And I just wanted to point out the reason I absolutely love this feature of being able to track products is because as I'm a seller already on Amazon, I can track all my competitors and I can see if they are changing their prices, if they're doing a promo, where they are in the rank, what their reviews are like, how they are doing. And I personally think that that is just so beneficial and it's just it's just made my life a lot easier when it comes to tracking competitors. So now let's go to the let's go to our product tracker and have a look at the ones that we um, wanted to track. So you can see I've tracked some other products here, not just the products that I've just selected, but we've got these five products here. So one, two, three, four, five. And what we can do with this information is, firstly, we can literally find them on Alibaba. We can um, look at how they're doing, sales, everything, all of this information. It's crazy. We can go to Alibaba and find them. It's really, really crazy what you can do with all of this information. And another thing we can do is, like I said, we can track our own products. So all we have to do is add our own product with other products in it, and we can track that so much more easily than having to go to Amazon do the search, go to our back end and do all of that in the seller central. We can just track it all in here. It makes life a lot easier, especially if you're already a seller. And if you're not a seller, it just makes finding products so much easier. So that is how I would personally use both the the AMZ Scout Chrome extension along with the product database, the Keyword Explorer and the product tracker all together. So I would, I would never just use one of them. I would get the entire package and use it all together to really, really take this business seriously to find products, to track my existing products. And that is how I would use it. And let me know down in the comments below if this idea of going and finding niches, random niches, searching it in the, in the uh, Keyword Explorer, then going to the product database and, and going a bit deeper in it, and then going back to the AMC Scout Chrome extension to look at more keywords for when it comes to having to advertise with PPC. All of these different things that just make these products work perfectly together. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that. And um, hopefully this video has helped you really realize the potential and the power of using both of these things together. So my name is Shirley Morris and I'm here shooting this video for AMZ Scout. I've also got my own YouTube channel which you can check out with the link in the description. But for now, this is all I have to say and I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next video.